and seeing profits. I see yellow shirts, louder than the broccoli, dancing in my chucks. Living out of body, safe to say the man got me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? 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 Can you hear When I start spitting too much drive, need some power steering, cruising to a better vision, y'all. Yeah. Can you hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me now? Can you hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me now? Can you hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me now? All right, Coach, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. and taken down. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. for no okay. gain. Now they'll try again easy, from the easy. 25 on second and 10. Five up, five up, five up. A first carry for Trenton Cannon. And he'll wind up losing yardage here Let's back go. at the 21-yard line. He lost four there, and it's third down. While we know that the identity of this offense is to throw the ball, they've got to run it every so often, if for no other reason than to tamp down the pass rush. They can't let them just tee off and get to... He's got a man complete! And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That goes as a gain of 37 on third down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Cannon. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Working out of the gun, Winston. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he's reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. On third down, it's Peters, and he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The and he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jets take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. 
Well, this is a crew. They've come out flat their last two games, both losses. But just judging by the energy level, they look different here early, and that touchdown shows how. Yeah, it seems to me that that touchdown gets them off the treadmill. Because, you know, you, you've been on the treadmill. I've seen you work out. You go forever <laughs> and ever, and it tells you you've gone somewhere, but you're really out here in the same spot. They've exchanged it for an escalator. Still got some hills to climb, but they can get there. These are good analogies. I run outside sometimes, so you know, get, get that all home for a Bills touchdown as his guys are in for six and the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game well there you go they gave up a score to start the game and as quick as they could get it back they did on the return and people talk about this all the time, whether you're coaching it, whether you're trying to work on it, whether you're just trying to put in the minds of your players. Attack back as fast as you can after giving up a score. No quicker way than on a kick return. And New York set to take the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. They go play action here on first down. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far is working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. Give him six on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Shaq Lawson with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Taken in at the 22. And now running right through him. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. And taking a gander at the NFL scoreboard in Minneapolis. And the Jags, they're out to an early lead there. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. On the move to his left. Looking down. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. A gain of 32 that time. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. On first and ten, Marshall underneath for Miller. Space to run past the 20. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there. And they just got a nice first down there. What do we look? And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Tyler Eifert, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bills are in for six. So he scrambled right, but was able to look back toward the middle of the end zone to find the target. As you know in this game, sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules because we all know most guys throwing the football are taught never throw back into the middle of the field on a scramble. 
He did it and got away with it for a touchdown. Instinct sometimes, right? They just take over. Instinct and vision. Sometimes you just see people who are open, you're able to get it to them. They'll run. This is Cannon. And an alley to run. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. A first down throw for Winston. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Jerry Hughes. In there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Second down, Winston. Flush to his right. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. The Jets on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and a mile. On play action, Winston escaping the pressure right. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Bills in possession as they take over following the punt with a first and ten. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Sanders has it over the middle. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. And that goes for a gain of 31. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A first down carry now for Miller. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Hot, hot, hot. To throw on second down, Marshall. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Throwing on third and long, Marshall. The left side completion to Jones. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Now a play fake here on first down. Flushed out right. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. 
Oh, my. You know that that's one that he'll want to have back. I mean, they did everything right. Got the linebackers commit on the play action. He just flat out missed. From the 21, it's second and 10. Black round! Black round! Throwing again on second and 10. Marshall eluding the pressure right. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have them looking at third and ten. <laughs> Off the play fake. Marshall. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Leonard Williams with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. And this is just outside the right upright. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Jameis now on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. They'll run with Cannon. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of four. Now third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Third and long for Winston. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Yeah, he'll get this one way up, just shy of the 45-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Back to throw. Marshall. And he fends him off. But he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Noah Spence. In there to get him for a loss of five. Like the footwork back there. I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. Caught Eifert over the middle. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. This quarterback now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. Looking to throw. Marshall, and the catch good. It's Eifert, and he'll get it down here to the 43. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this short timeout. Looking to throw on second down. Marshall dancing to his left. Throw left side complete. It's Jones. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Flex 
From the gun on third down, Marshall steps away to his left. Got him in. He finds Sanders. The Bills passing game getting him down the field. They've got another first down. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! Throwing on first down, Marsha. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Try and run for it with Miller. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Lamar Miller, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Returning it, John Ross. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The New York set to take the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Now before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now a second down throw for Winston. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. The Jets on third down, two for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Jameis to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Riley. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Winston now 5 out of 10, 50% throwing it. Not so hot, but he does have a first down. Jameis again. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Now let's see who this is on. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now Jameis on second down. Forced out to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And now before this fourth and two play comes to fruition, they're going to think about it and call a timeout. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know. They're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. And now out come the Bills. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. 
I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They begin with a run by Miller. And he'll get this one up to the 26. The corner, Perry Nickerson had the tackle. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. On second down, here's Miller. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. The second half upon us sooner than we bargained for. Week seven, second half. Let's do it. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Line of scrimmage, again, the 25, second and 10. Ohio! Ohio! Back to the air on second down. Marshall looking middle, and it's incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver. Third down here. There are a good number of coaches that any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. They'll roll him out right. And that will be incomplete as well. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Or the mental focus. Yeah, on the that's thing. true. Gotta stay with it. That's true. Oh, it is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Now here's Ross. Nearly a huge return as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Good starting position for the Jets as they come up first and 10. On the carry, it's Cannon. And it's a fumble. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. On first and 10, Winston being chased out left. Now he'll let it go deep left side. And this is going to be caught by Smith for a jet touchdown. In for the score. And the fumble recovery leads to six points for the Jets. And he had time there. I mean, you give any quarterback that length of time, he'll make you pay. It just puts way too much stress on guys trying to cover downfield because, as you said, you don't have much time in the pocket. He can scan the field, find the open person. That's exactly what happened there. And what was the end result again? Touchdown. And he's not going to get in as a try for two comes up empty. So they will be unable to cut this to a field goal as the differential remains five. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Back onto the field now comes the Bills offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first down, Marshall. This would complete to his fullback out of the backfield. 
And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll make it a second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Kidd had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Cut! They keep it with Miller on first down. And that play will go nowhere, losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Off play action. Marshall flush to his right. Over the middle complete. It's Sanders. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. On first and 10, Marshall escaping the pressure right. That is caught at the seven. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Mike Davis, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bills will extend their lead. Zerline out now to kick this one away. And now here's Ross. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So out now come the Jets. Three, three, three. 14, 14. Okay. Hey. First down, Winston. And that is incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And they'll run it here. Nine yards on the pick up there as he'll be left with third and one. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get up field. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. That was a terrific job by the defense, stopping them on third and short. But sometimes you get some visual cues from the offense because when they're going in short yard situations, you might see the offensive line come in tighter together, a little more shoulder to shoulder, trying to wedge a hole in the middle. They didn't get it done on that play. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They're indeed going. It's Winston. The open man is Smith. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe ten. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I say the staff is up in the booth watching the game. They may want to okay. file that one away. See how fast the free safety closed to make that play? Might want to check into a throw the next time. Follow, follow, follow. And they'll go on the ground. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yards to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. The Buffalo defense does its job, but it's fourth down. It's 
So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. And Myers able to knock it through. And that lead is back down to nine now. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bills getting set to go. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the Ohio! last drive. Ohio! When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Off the bootleg. Marshall. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Back to throw. Marshall dumps it complete to Miller. Fighting his way through contact. The Bills passing game, getting him down the field. They've got another first down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing on first down. Marshall buying time to his left. There he goes inside the 30. And Miller with it over the middle. And finally taken down at the 15. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. Look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 11 more on that one and another first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. In the backfield, standing alone here on second and goal is Davis. They'll try to punch it into Davis. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Looking to throw. Marshall. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Tyler Eifert, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Bills will add on to their lead. They'll try and run it in with Miller. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Zerline out now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable. This is caught inside the 15. The way in. Touchdown, New York. A big play there. 75 yards. And the Jets are able to cut into this deficit. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. 
Myers connects on the PAT as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Here's Myers now to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. Ohio! Ohio! Off the play fake. Marshall flushed out right. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. Here's Winston. Throw left side complete. It's Riley, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A gain of six there on first. First play of the drive in their hip pocket. Of course, the focus here has to be the touchdown of the two-point conversion. Field goals aren't going to help you. Yeah, but how about that first play of the drive? Just to get them started, nice gain, get some positive momentum going. They're on their way, and they don't have to rush. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. The Jets on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and seven. From the gun, Winston. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a jet first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set him back for second down. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game, but when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, a one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. Doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll make it second and goal. They'll come out in the pistol. He'll get it up the middle. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Trenton Cannon, his second touchdown on the season. And the Jets are within a two-point conversion of tying this thing up. Big play coming now for the Jets as they'll set up to go for two. From the shotgun, it's Winston. And he's got it. The conversion good, and we are tied in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted to tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. Oh, the spin. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he's going to be stopped here with a penalty marker on the field. I'm not sure what this is about. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. On first down, Marshall. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. time for a break we'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this so after the sack here second and 14 
Operating from the gun. Marshall. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. The Bills on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. From the gun, Marshall eluding the pressure right. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And down to the 27-yard line. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Let's go! What? Nine! What? Nine! Cut! Flex round! Flex round! Cut! They'll run it now out of the gun. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this Let's intensity usually go. gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there, I'm going to tackle this guy. By the Let's fourth go. quarter, Let's you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. game working they'll stick with it on first down it'll be a pickup of 10 yards and that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here this defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far they're not putting up much of a fight if they don't get a stop here soon this game could be over for them Here's a give to Miller, and he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. They'll come up with split backs in the backfield. of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal Flex round! Flex round! Cut! they'll give it to him up the middle and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield now the timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. So it'll all come down to the booming right leg of Greg Zerline. With three seconds to go, this for the win. And he missed it. It's no good. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. Now Ross to return. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And now out come the Jets. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. 
And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Now the first throw in overtime for Winston. Oh, and it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 46. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. A costly mistake here in OT. And you know what they say when you throw an interception like that in overtime? You don't usually get a chance to throw a second one. I mean, I'm not sure of the analytics on it. Let's ask Marvin, our statistician, to, to ring that down for us. That's typically how coaches and teams feel about it. If you throw one, you likely cost yourself the game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A first down carry for Davis. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. On third down, Davis. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him eight yards on the carry, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Now the Jets are going to burn another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. So on now is Greg Zerline in a pressure situation. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. We were just treated to an absolute dandy in this one. A great finish in overtime with a long field goal. Everybody, including us, on the edge of their seats. Quite a game. And it's rare that you get a game into overtime that it doesn't turn out to be a dandy, right? That's what we saw here. And just what you were talking about, a long field goal to win it. So definitely not a gimme. So there was tension all the way through until the ball went through the post. But it did go through the post. Ice water was in his veins. So for Buffalo, their strong start to the year continues as they're up to 5-1. and one. And they'll return home next week to take on the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for the Jets, the loss drops them back to 4-3 and three so far. And they'll get an extra week to think about it as the midseason bye might be coming at just the right time. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. K, I found out where you lay at. I got the lurking and, and they hate cats. Pockets they fat. I got the the from the pocket they scamming. They know what they said. I got the the broken the avenue. They know what tank said. I got the the living the mansion. They know what that. I got some that's up in the jutting. They know what that. I came on top of the building again. My we had a plan. We came on top of the building again. My we never ran down there. Thought thought that I had a fan. Oh, hey. 
10 o'clock, got a flight out. Yeah, I'm going back out to Japan. I got two Billy truck and a bitch to door with a land. Bruce Wayne, I'm Batman. Batman, I'm best man. I got my best man. I got my... I go to hotels when I step out. Yeah, your boy got a door, man. I go to nightclubs with a... Yeah, they call me the madman. I ain't no madman. I just go crazy, man. Go hard, can't face, man. Chop up, rip wasteland. This what happen when you give it a taste life and you give it a wasteland. This what happen when you give it a fake life and them the ape, man. I live with birds come out. Sounds like I seen it now. Hey, I'm on your turf again. This, that, yeah. On the back of the... I got a girl, right? She go to battle, I let the birds come out. Sounds like I see it now. Hey, I'm on your turf again. This, that, yeah. From the back of the. I got a girl, Brad. Yeah. She go to battle.
that's why, cause the white folks don't. Big bank take low bank. Big bank take low bank. Type of money you gon' need to sight. The type of money you gon' need to buy. From the hood, this type of money make you stay away. Type of money you gon' let you on let you. Big bank take low bank. Big bank take low bank. Everything proper, no propaganda. Chop a count of gold yard bandana. Big, big, a lot of hot like Santa. Do a birthday party in a phantom. Big, big, like a dinosaur did it. And you know, no channel like acrylic. Yeah, yeah, I had corn roll. I can see you, see you hang with the door closed. Now I'm looking for a glove with a sparkle on it. And my sparkle on it. Got chocolate on it. Big bank takes small. Bank account on some talk. Attitude on some. Bank roll on what it do, boo. He had the rule at five. And if I ain't did it yet, I'll try. Big bank tight, low bank. bank. Big bank tight, low bank. bank. The type of money you gon' need to sight. The type of money you gon' need to buy. From the hood, this type of money make you stay away. The type of money you gon' let you on let you. Big bank tight, low bank. bank. Big bank tight, low bank. She bank. said, What you gon' do if I leave? I said, I'ma do me. B I G, everything zoomed in. Big, big on me looking like I'm moving in. Got my foot in the door and we still here. I'm a first generation millionaire. I broke the curse of my family not having. I'm passionate like this after more than just cashing. Feed me to the wolves, now I leave the packing. You boys.